we couldn't come to the city of Los Angeles without coming to check our guy, but he's not only our friend, trainer to the stars. I mean, everybody from Kevin Hart to uh, Kelly Rollins, Alicia Keys, Swiss Beats, but I wanted to talk about the beginning because you're not just a trainer, you're a former professional fighter. Oh. What brought you into boxing, Jim? I mean, you, you were born in Nigeria, moved to race, New York. Moved to New York. I was like a sponge. I was just soaking everything in, trying to learn my ways. So you were getting teased for having an Every African day, accent. Every teased, bullied, all that stuff. You know, I went through my, my share of it until I went into a boxing gym, and that's the best sound I've ever heard in my life. The gym? Ever. By mistake. I just mistake. walked into a boxing gym. I was going to a water fountain. Whoa. And I heard, good, 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 speed back. I said, what the fuck is that? Then I heard, whoo, 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 whoo. jump over. Then I heard, come on. Then I heard, ping, 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 ping. They sounded like a melody to me. It sounded like, wow. I said, like music. I said, that's a sport I never learned. My mom was totally against it. You know, uh -huh. she's big on education, uh -huh. as, as all parents are. But if you use it wisely, you know, you can make a temporary thing, longevity, if you know how to hustle right. and, and know the insights of it. A lot of people don't know. A lot of people know you as a celebrity trainer, but yeah. you, you went on a fight do professional. They, do they and know then, Yes, they know you. Yes, they, do. Yes, they, do. they do. know you. Your first big check that you got. Yes. From boxing, and you looked at it. Yeah. What's the first thing you thought you was going to do with it? And then, I don't know. what's the first thing you thought you was going to do with it? Like, what's the first thing you did? I was hanging out with guys like Curtis Jones and these guys, and they... <laughs> it's tempting. We never New heard York of City, that. New York, <laughs> New York City, you got to look them up. New York City is, is a tempting place to be in, to be young and, and be an athlete. New York City is a very, very uh, dangerous place if you do not know how to, like, stare far away from it. A lot of guys talented, music, sports, acting, whatever, whatever, they all tell you the same shit. That's why they didn't make it as far as to live they, they up to their potential. Yeah. potential. Right. You know guys yeah. that are like, right, right. like, you know, they had a kid early, right. you know, they, um, they went to the wrong direction, and then that two years they were locked up, right. people forgot about them, whatever. Do, they, do, do, similar you, do you think you not having a child earlier in your life, because you just recently had a, a son. Yeah. You think that helped you? Uh, That's I a guess... great question. Yes, it did. Yes, it did, 100%. Remember, my job as a teenager was to, I just know how to pack my bags, pack my boxing gloves, and go to the gym. I wasn't worried about nothing. I didn't have rent. Mm -hmm. I didn't have cable bill. I didn't have, other, I didn't have to go to 9 to 5 every day. Right. You know, thanks to my mom, she took that pressure off of us. You know, so so I can focus. It plays a, a role, especially for, for especially for women too. Sometimes a guy can have a kid by a woman and then leave, and then she has to figure out: Do I still chase my dancing dream? Do I still chase my singing? Because I have to do this, you know. So right, and that's a priority. Yeah, it's a huge priority. It's number one. It becomes number one of everything. I'm, and and that's interesting uh, because you in New York City. You were at the top of the food chain when it yeah. came to celebrity training, right? Living but you still Street. left it all alone because yeah. of that responsibility of your son yes. that was born here in Los Angeles, and you moved to the city and left everything and started everything. all over from scratch here. Everything. How was that process? Walk Man, me through that's, it. A, that's, a, that's a, a great, great question. I don't think nobody's ever asked me that on camera. You know, you know people You've never said, been on camera. Yeah, so people... <laughs> what are you talking about? I got the face on radio. I... I the transition was like, it was kind of tough in the beginning because I started to think like a, like a mere peasant. Sorry to use those terms because a, a regular 90% of the, of the population that we live in, they, they never take a risk as such. But then it all cleared out of my mind. I said, I'm thinking regular. Right. Am I regular? Am I as bad as my, the best, am I this, this, or what I think I am? Me personally, not what people tell me. Mm -hmm. I was like, if I think I'm as great as I think I am, I'm always boasting this greatness. Now is the time to prove it to myself. I wanted to be here physically when my son is born. Because you, you, every father owes that to the child. And that was the main reason I said, I'm coming over. I could have been here negative in my bank account and still, I had to be here, and I was here. But check it out, there's so many fads. There was CrossFit, so many things come out and people jump on, especially Yeah, they do, they do. Well, you, you stuck to boxing training. I have to. Now, there's no rich. That's my thing. I don't know any rich boxing trainers. I don't know any famous <laughs> boxing trainers. You I don't went, that. You could've went to anything else. I don't You mean stuck that. with boxing oh, yeah. and made it. Like, yeah. how did you do, why'd you think that? Because it's, 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 it's a language. 
it's my livelihood. Boxing is your life. It's why I thrive. This is my stage. Mm -hmm. So what you do you is know. more is more than train uh, it's a more boxer to be in. I mean, well, a, a person to be in shape. Shape, I don't care for. You're gonna lose five pounds and then gain it back. But when I change your mind, mm. that's what happened, man. So you're using the language, the only language you know. The only language I know. To show them to love and support people. them. Yes. People are like, yo, can you help me? Help? I said, I don't do that. You can go to Equinox and get that. But whenever you want to become great, whenever you want to own that company that you work for, come see me. I'm bringing you pain, because I need you to turn that pain and take it with you and turn it into your greatness. There you have it, folks. It's not Woo! just training. It, you know, it's a mindset that this guy teaches and brings like the to the people. Thank you.